Our next guest is the National Book Award winning author of her critically acclaimed novels, Salvage the Bones and Sing, Unburied Sing. Her fantastic new novel, Let Us Descend, was published today. Please welcome back to the show our friend, Jasmine Ward. Welcome back. It's good to be here. I'm so happy to have you. I asked you backstage, are you relieved once a book is written? And you were very honest. You said you'd be relieved when the press is over. Yes. Well, thank you very much for getting <laughs> through it with us. Um, this, uh, I know people have told you this over the years, and, and it's something that I uh, believe as well. Your characters uh, stay with people long after they've read uh, your books. Is that something, is that a compliment that you enjoy hearing? Is that something you're trying to do when you're writing? Yes. Um... Yes, because I think that literature and that stories act in a way that other mediums don't, right? I think they allow readers to sink into a world with a person and to feel like they're living that reality with that person. And, um, and, and I think that the people that I write about, the characters that I write about, are worthy of that kind of regard. So. I know uh, uh, when you were here uh, for your National Book Award winning uh, book, Sing Unburied Sing, that's 2017, you'd started this book. Yes. And uh, I know it was a very difficult book to write. And it's about very difficult themes. I also want to say I found it very easy to read, which is a credit to the beautiful way you write. But can you talk about getting over that hurdle of, of addressing sort of the themes and, and the difficult histories that you're addressing in this? Right. Um, th this. It was really difficult to write this book in part because I'd never written about anyone who didn't have a lot of uh, physical agency, right? I mean, Annis is the main character in here and she's very constrained because she's an enslaved person, right? Um, but in the writing of the book, I began to discover that she has other types of agency, right? She has emotional agency, she has imaginative agency, she has the agency of memory. She also has a type of spiritual agency. So I think that all of these agencies combined gave her a way to move through the world that was not confined, right? That was not like constrained by the system of slavery. And I think it made it, hopefully it will make it easier you know, for readers to read because they can ex experience all of those freedoms and agencies with her. There is, a, you know, obviously a great deal of tragedy in this book, uh, a great deal of grief and the processing of grief, but it's also a very hopeful book. When you're writing it, do you know these are all things that you want to make sure exist all at once? Like, there's no obviously neat endings, and, and it's not like one section's about this, one section's about that. Is it always important for you to have it sort of under the same umbrella? I think so. I mean, you know, like, she, I... Annis is not a victim. And she's also, because a victim, um, when a person's portrayed as a victim, they're flattened, right? Um, they're just victorious and that's it. But she's also not, she's not only a survivor either, right? Um, because when someone is only a survivor, then their experience is also flattened, right? I wanted her to be as complicated and complex as I could possibly make her. So she experiences friendship. She um, experiences connection. She has lovers, you know, at the same time that she also feels grief and feels longing and, you know, misses her community and misses friends. So, so there's, I, I want all of that to exist at the same time because I think that reflects how complicated we all are. When you write such a, a sort of multidimensional character like this that does have this great wealth of humanity. Do you find when you're writing the character is telling you about themselves or do you find that you're putting yourself into the character? I think there's a little bit of both happening, right? Because whenever I write, I always feel like the character who is speaking is sitting here and telling me the story. So in part, I'm channeling them, but at the same time, I'm also, I think, pulling on my own experience to try to understand some of what they are going through. 
Um, and I definitely, I think this book is, the, is, as far as my novels go, is the book that is most, I think, informed by my experience. After a day where you feel as though you've done very good writing, mm -hmm. what do you do at the end of it? <laughs> like when you fin when you like, I, 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 do you write out longhand or laptop? Is it laptop? All right, laptop. Mm -hmm. You close the laptop. You're feeling good. What's the next thing you do? Uh, I, I do several. There are several different ways that I waste time and cut off my brain. It's very nice. I think that's what we all want to hear, is that yes. you also waste time. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Sometimes when prolific writers who have great skill come on, we want to also know that they will, <laughs> yeah, I look at my phone. <laughs> right, right, <laughs> right. So, right. Well, thank you. You're, you're giving us great relief by saying Good. that as well. Good. Um, I also, uh, I want to, uh, before we let you go, uh, point out if people missed it, uh, this is very exciting. This was just named uh, an Oprah book club pick. <laughs> And, uh, and once again, I, I, nothing makes me happier than when my tastes are in line with Oprah. <laughs> and uh, I, we, I think we both have excellent taste. And it's, uh, it's really just a wonderful, a wonderful book. And it's so happy. I'm so happy to have you back. Thank you so much, Jasmine. Thank you. You guys, that's Jasmine Ward. Let Us Descend is available now wherever you buy your books. But please support local and independent bookstores. We'll be right back more late night.